Hello, hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to share how to prepare purchase order to be sent to our supplier. So it's very easy. In the previous video, we did upload, uh, we did upload information about our inventories as well as our contact, like supplier and customer. Okay, let's say we want to start ordering goods from our supplier. So this process normally we identify, we do it manually maybe, check in our store what are the stock that we need. And then we can refer to our list of items and the prices available and see. We're going to choose the suppliers. We did choose the suppliers. And then from there, we're going to make order. So what are the process to prepare this, this document? So what you need to do is just click the button business. And then there's one function there, purchase order, purchase order. So click this purchase order button. And then you check your record. Who supplier, which supplier you're going to order. For example, uh, I have previously ordered good from, from ABC Distributor Limited. So I want to order maybe a different good from different supplier. So click add new purchase order. Okay. Okay. And then you can see here what is the contact. The contact there. So maybe just type here. For example, I'm going to maybe send this order to surf and surf Mac. For example, just put that one. Okay. And the date is, maybe the purchase order date is 15 October 2021. And what is your expected delivery date? Maybe I expect to receive that item on 18 October 2021. Then this is purchase order number. This one is auto-generated by the system. It go in sequence, yeah? So previously is PO001. And then now it should be PO0002. If you maybe use different number, you start, uh, you already have your PO number before that, you can change this PO number. You can change this PO number accordingly. Yeah? Huh? And then if you have any reference system that you want to put, you can put your reference there. Okay. And then the next one will be the currency. In my case, I'm using this uh, Emirates Dirham, yeah? UAE Dirham. Or if you have any other currency, you can add the currency over there. Okay, let us move to the items. What are the items that we want to order? So I have a long list of items here. For example, I'm going to buy a double E, a double E, E2 paper. Eh? Double E, E2 paper. This is from the inventory list. You can add more if you don't uh, feel, you feel the item is not in your list, you can click the add button. So in this example, I'm going, I'm going to use the existing uh, list from the existing list that is A to double A. So what's the quantity? I'm going to order maybe 40 units of this. And the price is 11, 11 dollar, 11 dirham per, uh, per unit. So if, there, if there's any offer given by the supplier, you can put a discount here. For example, they are offering now. 5% discount. So automatically the system will calculate your your net net price, yeah, the net price. Okay. So it will go to our inventory accounts. This is more on accounting. We said already that everything will go to inventory accounts. And then later on we're going to move it to cost of sales that is using the perpetual inventory system. Okay. So the amount here, $40. Is it tax exclusive? Exclusive tax means it does not include any tax. Okay. Some of the prices they already include tax. I mean the eleven dollar include tax. Okay. So in that case, you can change here tax inclusive. Inclusive means it includes tax. Okay. But in this case, I want to just use uh, maybe tax exclusive. It does not include any tax. And you can put whether this item is taxable under the VAT or GST system. If there is any VAT or GST system in your country or this item subject to GST, you can choose here 
your tax your tax system here you can you cannot i i will uh you need to show a different video i need you to watch a different video uh how to set this tax but in this case i'm going to put none none or just leave it blank no tax because we are not applying any gst here in our context okay so delivery options you want to make make note here okay when who this uh to whom this item will be will be delivered so you can put here for example mr ahmad yeah mr ahmad and you can put his telephone number here nine seven one 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 for example and what is the delivery instruction for example you are going to ask him please deliver before 5 p.m for example this is the the instructions here yeah? and then after that you are ready for that everything is correct okay, if you want to add more item you just go for the second item here for the second uh, row click this and then choose the second items and we want to order for 30 units and you also have five percent discount for this item so the system will automatically help you to calculate what is the total amount of your purchases okay and then you click approve here click approve so this system will be marked as uh, approved purchase order so this is the the process very easy and if you are connected you, have, you can send them email if you want automatically email them okay you just click this email send by email so they will send this purchase order to your customer it's very quick Okay, purchase order number. Okay, from from Newco, from our company here to Surfmac. Hi, hello. Yeah, here yeah, purchase order number, delivery due date, address. I include in the purchase order. If you have any question, please let me know. Or if you want to make some amendment, for example, hi, hi. I hope. Yeah, please find. Okay, you can type whatever you want here. You can. Okay. And then if you need a copy of the email, if you need a copy of the email, so you click here, uh, send me a copy. So the system will automatically send a copy to you, but I don't need that. So, so then you click the send button. So automatically, that PO will be sent to your customer email. Right? email. If you need to print that one for your own documentation, or you want to post, or you want to hand over, you want to pass by hand to your supplier you can print this one click print okay you can print as as pdf yeah as pdf here yeah. as pdf okay maybe you want to print uh, to your printer no worries about that you can easily do it or you can maybe share through other medium for example whatsapp and so on so this is your purchase order okay so now we can see the next process will be mark as bill mark as bill is when you receive the order receive the goods they will send you invoice and then you're going to check whether you have received the item correctly or not okay okay so this is the process to prepare purchase order if you want to make correction then you can edit if you want to delete the process the, the document you can delete yeah if you want to repeat the same order you can copy to so if, this is the process if you want to copy to bill and so on so let me repeat it again show it one more time how we're going to do this so let me go to the business and then you can click purchase order if you click purchase order you'll see that i already have two orders the first one is the abc i did this before and then recently is the surf up surf mac this is just sent to our have been approved this is the amount and and this is the status sent to our sent to our supplier okay let us create another purchase order new purchase order okay okay another to a new to a new contact the contact is not in our list for example i'm going to send to xyz 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 limited is not in our list so i can click here click new contact so it's going to be a uh, system will create a new contact to me yeah this is a new contact xyz limited new contact 
Okay. Today is the date. And then you can put the delivery date. Maybe you want this item to be sent on 20th October 2021. Okay. So the item, I have a new item here. Okay. I, I don't want this. I want a new items. For example, what are the items that I need? Maybe I need here is maybe detergent, maybe detergent. So I'm going to add a new item. I put here detergent. Okay. Maybe what's the name of detergent? Maybe detergent super clean. Yeah, I call it as super clean detergent. Yeah, it is. Let's put in the name. Okay. And then what are the price? $20. It's going to go to my uh, purchase account there. Yeah, purchases account is go to my cost of sales accounts. Okay. And then I'm going to sell this item. Okay. Oops, sorry, this go to my. Inventory, right? Sorry. Okay. Okay, it's okay. Then the selling price will be $25. And I'm going to put my sales account. Where is my sales account? Okay, I just put your purchases. It go to my cost of uh, goods sold. And then I have this tax rate. If you want to put the tax rate. And I'm going to track this item. So click the save button, yeah. Okay, so this is the inventory account being defined down here, and then you save it. Oh, we need to have the cost of goods sold account, so three one zero zero, okay. And then let me click save, and automatically I have a new items here. I'm going to buy for ten units, and the total price is two hundred, two hundred dirham. So you can put this additional information if you need, yeah. For example, attention to Miss Nina. In uh, this is her phone number nine seven one, sorry, nine seven one two 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 two. Okay, and then please deliver, deliver as soon as possible. As soon, as soon as possible. Or even though I put the date, if you can, yeah. If, if you can, yeah. If you can, if you. Can okay, okay, and then approve the invoice, and then that process. Okay, you can send the email. You want to send the email, you need to put their email because you haven't entered their emails to our contact list. We need to update our contact list, but you can put directly here. Okay, and then click send button. You can print the, the invoice as well, and then mark as, as print send mean you print and send it manually to your supplier. So that is the process. You go back to your purchase order. You will see that we have three types of three uh, documents of purchase order now. Yeah, from ABC, Surf Up, and XYZ Limited. Okay, that's it for for ending for this video. I'm going to to discuss how how what we do next when we receive the goods as well as a bill from our from our supplier. Thank you so much. Please watch the other video. Bye-bye.